it. But the thing of it is, this money was spent to get that downloaded on the phone. Is that money halal? Is that halal? 50 cent in the masjid before the salat. It destroyed my khushur. The brothers who were behind me, they were laughing all throughout the salat. So we say this to you brothers. This stuff is destroying the kid's mind. These people on these lyrics, they lie so much. I've traveled the world. I've done this. I've killed these people. My crew is like this. I've done this. I've done that. Lying. A lot of lying in their lyrics. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in a hadith in Bukhari Muslim. He said, Ayatul Munafiq thalatha idha haddatha kathaba. That the signs of the hypocrite is that when he speaks, he lies. When you listen to those rappers, do you believe the words that they're saying like you believe the words in the book of Allah? This is the question I'm asking you brothers again. The question that needs to be asked, Ya Ikhwan, do you love the book of Allah more or do you love that rap music and that hip hop? Because the two of them, they cannot be in your heart at the same time. I want you young brothers to understand what I'm saying. Yo, Baba, back there, no talking. We got some homeboys from Detroit, and they'll throw you, bounce you up out of here. I'm telling you. So you need to be good. We say this to you, Ya Ikhwan. Are you going to listen to the Quran and the Sunnah and let this affect your heart? Or this hip hop, it will destroy you, Ya Ikhwan. Some of the kids, when they listen to this stuff, they try to internalize what's going on. And they think that they're a gangster. I'm a gangster. See, you don't even have a pencil to poke somebody in the eye. You're a gangster. I've traveled to Chicago. I've traveled to New York. I've traveled to Philadelphia. I've traveled to Gary, Indiana. I've traveled many places. I've tra- I went to Brixton, UK. And believe me, you're not a gangster, ya akhi. You don't have no crew, akhi. Why are you trying to go on like you're a bad man? This is a mentality that is something wrong with the Muslim youth. So we say this to you, Ya Ikhwan, that this hip-hop music is destroying the youth. It's destroying the mentality. It's putting something in their head that no doubt your parents had no intention for you to learn when you came over here from the land of the Muslims. I myself, when I went to Egypt, I went to this very exquisite, huge mall in Egypt. And I went in there, and believe it or not, I seen a hip-hop store with the latest stuff imported from California and New York. And right in the front, they have a big picture of Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur. I went in there and I said, what's going on here? They goes, you're from America? I said, well, kind of, I'm from America. Did you hear about Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur? I said, yeah, I know who they are. Wow, man. Wow, I wish I lived in America when they were alive. I said, why? He looked at me. You are American? I said, well, kind of, you know, I'm from North America. He goes, you don't want to hear the songs of Tupac and Biggie? I said, hell no. No. I don't want to hear that, Kufar. I said, you're Muslim? He said, yeah, I'm Muslim. I said, okay, I'm Muslim too. I came from the West to come and learn some of the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet. You want to go there? He said, yes. Yes, yes, I want to be a players. I want to be a players and a ballers. And I want to be a gangster. I said, subhanAllah. I'm trying to come up in this religion and learn my religion and try and call to it. And you want to go hipping and hopping in the clubs like a buffoon? Yes, brother, it's very cool, very cool. MTV is very nice. I said, subhanAllah. You're going this way and I'm going that way. I said, brother, wallahi, I would give you my passport and everything if I could live right here. You can go back to Canada. You can go back to America. You know what he said to me? He said, I wish I could. It's my dream. It's my dream to be in America. I say, subhanAllah. Everywhere that I've traveled in America, it is not the place that you want to be. Me and a brother a few years ago, we were in Toledo. And my time is running out. Friday night, 10.30 in the night, more than 60 black people that are obese are waiting to get into McDonald's so they can get their eat on. I say, subhanAllah. Subhanallah, people waiting outside of McDonald's like it's the last food that's going on. You see crack bottles all over the street. You see shells all over the street. Time constraints. 
When you get the time constraints, you can't say everything that you want to say. But alhamdulillah ala What I wanted to say and what I wanted when I prepared for you guys is on a higher level. But due to time constraints, we can't say everything. So all I'm trying to say to you brothers is this. We have a book right here. This book, I just got my hands on it. It's called Tahrim ala Tatar by the Muhaddith, the Alama Sheikh Nasruddin al Albani. There's another book I have at home called Adham al Malahi by Abu Bakr ibn Abi Dunya. Both these books, and there's another book I refer to in English, you can get it on the internet, called The Islamic Ruling on Music and Singing. This book destroys and it refutes a guy from the past called Ibn Hazm. And it refutes anybody who wants to listen to music, musical instruments, and I had some of that information here, but I don't have the chance to prepare for it. So we say to you, Ya Ikhwan, Every time that you're listening to that music, when you're listening to that music, I just want to know one question. If Malik al if the angel of death, if he comes to you at that time, while you're in the elevator, hip-hopping and bebopping, bunks in your head like a buffoon to 50 cent, and he comes and he takes your soul from your heart, I want to know, are you guys ready for that? Is that what you want to be, the ending of your life? Bopping your head to the song of 50 Cent? Or as our brother, may Allah guide him, Beanie Mac said, I'd rather go out in the masjid making this salat. We like to say, inshallah ta'ala, we like to thank the qa'imina, our brothers, for allowing us to say a few words concerning this. Hopefully I will get a chance, inshallah ta'ala, to give a more deeper explanation of this with all the adilla that I prepared. But we say to this, Ya Ikhwan, if you listen to this foolishness, it's going to damage your head. Look at yourself 10 years from now if Allah gives you life. Don't waste your life on this foolishness.